I almost didn't post this video because of crippling self-doubt. But look, we are here, we made it, this part of it. So hi and welcome to the sketchbook session where I talk about self-doubt as an artist and how it becomes an adversity for your art goals. Go along and get cozy, maybe. To connect with other artists, to find inspiration, to build up a supportive community, and most importantly, to share art, many of us rely on various social media. It's, however, so easy to lose track of time when you're on these social sites and get exposed to non-stop art, and also memes and cat videos. The embarrassing amount of screen time I have due to falling down the social media rabbit hole is a reflection of that. The time that I could have invested in learning, developing my skills, and making art. So, it's no surprise that negative feelings like bitterness, jealousy, and envy arise. When we see that, others are drawing and posting frequently when we are not. This only adds fire to the fuel that is self-doubt. I've experienced it many times myself when I scrolled away and later regretted the wasted hours. And this as a result affected the trust in self as I subconsciously then start comparing my progress or lack thereof with others. There's also the algorithm which demands you to post daily or almost daily. I find this an impossible task for an artist and someone that has struggled with consistency all my life. When you post something and it performs poorly than your previous posts, instead of doing better, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking that maybe your art is a problem, or video making skills, or all of the above, even when it's quite clear that the algorithm does not work in favor of the smaller accounts, and it keeps changing all the time. Making plans and sticking to them are completely different things. In the past, I have made extensive list of things to do plenty of times. When it was time to act according to plans, however, I gave up. That's why I still can post videos every week even when I thought about sharing a video on a specific topic every week. I haven't done a master study in a while even though I planned to complete at least 100 master studies in a year. The wall in front of my desk is still empty since we moved in last year, but the plan was to fill it up with so many of my own paintings and drawings. All these plans sound wonderful in my head, but when it comes to executing them, I often don't start, and if I start it, I don't ever continue. This cycle of planning and failing to act accordingly keeps repeating, because in my head I have the expectation of doing all of them nicely, or as nice as possible, and despite many past failures to follow the big plans, I have yet to learn how to make them doable. The fear of doing things poorly and not doing enough always get in the way, so at the end of the day, nothing happens. Writing the script of this video or recording this voiceover was far from easy. 
and I struggled to make it somewhat coherent. Completing the drawings was not a piece of cake either. I went back and forth in some areas with how to add shadows and details so that the drawings don't look completely like the references I use. Erasing in some parts gave the rough texture look as well, but in the end, I'm happy with how these two drawings in the video turned out. Which is your favorite? And do you guys like rambly art videos like this? Or do you maybe prefer something that's, I don't know, less conversational? A common phenomenon in many artists' lives is that they began drawing as a kid. So did I. Over the years, there have been some improvements in my art for sure, as I began learning the rules of art years later. But I don't think it's all that significant, because I failed to quote-unquote make it as an artist. It's admirable indeed to see others set their goals and achieving them too, but when it's my turn, I somehow can't. Even though knowing comparison is a joy killer and everyone has a different journey when it comes to art, it's hard to get over feeling defeated when it comes to art improvement and having financial success as an artist. And at the moment, it almost looks out of reach. Speaking of, have you experienced anti-art block? I have many times. It's when you have an influx of art ideas, so many of them that you end up doing nothing about it, which only adds to the defeated feeling of thinking too much and not taking enough action. On threads, I saw this question circulating around. Would you make art if you can't make money from it? Pretty silly if you ask me. There were times when I went without drawing for months, yet I could not completely give up on art. Needless to say, I haven't made a dime from art so far. And there are so many hobby artists, too. Some of us do not function well when we go long periods of time without drawing or painting. Making it or not should only be a matter of time, right? Despite of all of the self-doubt and fear that I may not make it, I kinda wanna hold on to that tiny thread of hope. Besides, there are always things to be grateful for and celebrate every small wins. In January of this year, we reached the 200 subs milestone on this channel. Thank you so much for being part of this little community. Thank you and subscribe if you haven't already. With this sketchbook project, which I started on a whim in 2022, I am starting to like my own art once again. There's this stigma in art communities about liking your own art, 
I on the other hand find it quite inspiring when you are happy with what you made. It for sure keeps you going at the tough times. Starting your own project too can boost your confidence as an artist and eventually ward off self-doubt. Happy drawing everyone!